So I kind of want to do a short video because I'm sure this question's come up uh, around having an ankle bracelet. So uh, in case you're wondering what's up with this weird uh, angle or at least what the hell I'm showing you is uh, actually my bracelet. Um, I've actually been on a bracelet for uh, most of my time. You know, since I've been out of jail, um, and it's actually been many, many years, actually, of being on pretrial, in which I've had a bracelet. Um, this is actually a newer bracelet that I got only since Christmas, oddly enough, as a Christmas present for my probation officer, because, um... Most bracelets that you'll get, they're going to either be radio frequency or GPS. And um, for my entire experience, I've actually never been on GPS. I've been on radio frequency, which basically only tells um, your probation officer whether you're home or not at home. Uh, so, you know, in terms of me letting my probation officer know, you know, where I have to go and, you know, the assigned time and schedule and all that. Uh, that's the only thing it's tracking. Um, some people are put on GPS, uh, both in terms of pretrial before their case, or maybe they have probation, you know, as a sentence in which they may have to wear a bracelet. So, uh, sometimes some folks get um, GPS for their, their bracelet, which is actually different from mine, because mine, as an RF bracelet, it actually doesn't have to be recharged, and I've gone pretty much most, almost a year uh, between uh, battery changes versus people on GPS, they actually had to get theirs charged up daily. So, um, in terms of just the, the amount of hassle you have to go through, much less with an RF. Um, but I've had a couple issues just with, uh, random alerts happening. And because, um, the oldest box I ever got actually literally used the phone line to, uh, report when I am home or not home. And they finally decided to let me have one of the newer ones that basically were like a cell line. Uh, doesn't need a uh, landline to, to, to connect and pretty much can, you know, uh, let them know uh, whenever. So you don't have to worry about kind of potential issues with like, you know, the, the phone line, which is actually part of my cable uh, service. So... Um, other questions that folks, uh, might want to know is just, um, in terms of, uh, showering with it, um, uh, no issues with showering, uh, even if I take a really long hot shower, now I can tell you I've never put it into a, um, hot tub or jacuzzi, so I, I can't say, you know, how durable it is, but in terms of, my regular showers uh, hasn't I haven't had an issue uh, it is kind of annoying sometimes when you're sleeping because it does kind of you know bulge out uh, so you know for the last couple of years I've been dealing with this bracelet is just you know having to uh, adjust to sleeping in a very unusual kind of feeling with my leg uh, I've always had it on actually you know what I originally had it on my left leg, but I switched it to my right leg because I've noticed that I tend tended to uh, stay on one side of my bed. So sometimes when my feet dangles off the bed with the bracelet, then I don't feel as uh, as uncomfortable with the bracelet on. But um, you know, otherwise. You know, it, it it is a bracelet, so, you know, it's something that you're going to have to explain to people if you see them. In general, if I go out, you know, either I wear really long socks, I'll cover it up. Um, 
zipper, wearing long pants. Uh, if I happen to have people come over to my place who may not know my situation, maybe I'll wear, you know, extra long kind of sweatpants so it doesn't, you know, show up. But um, otherwise, you know, it is what it is in terms of having a, a bracelet. Never had it illegally cut off or dodged anything, so in case you're wondering, um, I've always been very compliant with my, you know, this particular condition around having a bracelet, uh, and, you know, it's, it's something that I know some folks are curious about, so if you have any questions about, uh, what it is to be on an ankle bracelet, um, how it works, you know, anything you want to ask me, just put it down in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Uh, definitely, if you haven't seen my other videos, uh, please check them out. I talk a lot about being uh, gay in jail, you know, my experience of going through that and what it's like and... Um, you know, I'm going to try and put out more videos just for the folks who are interested in knowing kind of what it's like, because, you know, most of us will probably never see the inside of a jail cell or go to prisons, but, uh, in case you've ever wondered, this is what some people go through, and, you know, if you're unlucky enough to ever have to go through that yourself, then you'll be a little bit prepared. Uh, so, uh, like this video if you liked staring at my legs and seeing, uh, a bracelet or, um, you know, uh, you like all my other videos, but definitely subscribe because I'm definitely going to try to, uh, up my game in terms of producing more content. So, you know, get that info out there to, you know, my community, all of you guys who are watching. So. I'll talk to you soon and enjoy the view.